apples and cream. This is really the temptation of ease. We're doing pasta, pasta, apple dessert today on the French stuff. <laughs> The French chef is made possible by a grant from the Polaroid Corporation. Welcome to the French chef. I'm Julia Child. Today we're going to do a very famous apple dessert called La Pasta Cutter. There it is, and I'm going to hide it from you. Travel along with it. And this is the dessert that uses sliced apples. And any dessert that does use sliced apples, and you want the apples to stay in shape, you have to get the kind of apples that will stay sliced and will not pick up into mud. You want them out of it, but it's pretty soft and it's a little bit of You want them to look just about like that when they're cut. And you, you've got to get the right kind of apple. You don't want to get a much kind of apple like a dragon sign. Or mackin top because they just turn into nothing and they want to see water. Three very good apples are golden delicious, golden beauty and dark material. And it's a good thing I'm trying to use so you can get these apples. And if you happen to be living in a canning country, you might be able to get really looping them on rolls. It's going to use like canned apple slices. Or some other good varieties. Well, rather spies and sparkles.